So as we learned before, salt can be produced by the reactions between acid and alkali. Okay, acid and alkali. So soap is a sodium and a potassium sort of fatty acid. Eh? Okay, so fatty acid react with alkali and then so it produces salt. So it produces salt. What is the source of the fatty acid and what's the source of the alkali? Alkali is, is simple, okay? The source of alkali is uh, sodium hydroxide or uh, potassium hydroxide. Usually, these are the two alkalis that we use. But uh, commercially, sometimes uh, some factory, they may use ammonia. Okay, they use ammonia. That's very expensive. So the soup will be very expensive if, if you use ammonia. So uh, the alkali is uh, either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, eh, usually. How about fatty acids? Where can we get fatty acids? We can get fatty acids from the molecules of fat, the fat molecule, like the cooking oil. Okay, the cooking oil, the olive oil, the palm oils, the coconut oil, uh, the groundnut oil. Okay, so all types of this oil, okay, contains fat molecule, and uh, inside this fat molecule, it has a, a fatty acid. Okay, so the fatty acid come from the oil molecule and alkalis that we use is sodium hydroxide and or a potassium hydroxide the source of fatty acid this is this is also a revision eh? we have learned this in carbon compounds so fat molecules are the molecules that form by a glycerol do you remember okay a glycerol molecule and three fatty acids molecule eh? and glycerol is an alcohol eh? fatty acid is acid alcohol react with acids then the process is called esterification, and it's also the condensation reactions. Okay, so esterification is a condensation reaction. So, a fat molecule is produced by a condensation reaction. Let me show you this uh, example. Okay, so this is glycerol. Okay, we have this a uh, three OH, uh, three OH group, a uh, three hydroxyl group. So this is a glycerol, and uh, these are uh, fatty acid three fatty acid one glycerol three fatty acid and in this process in this process the h and oh the h and oh is removed to form water h and oh is removed and they will form water okay plus h2o uh, plus three h2o and after we remove this h and oh then they will join together okay you see this one it joins together already yeah? So they will join together here, join together here, okay? So this is a condensation reaction, right? We take out water molecule, and then the covalent bond is formed between this molecule. So this is a condensation reaction. Eh? Uh, now what is important here is that uh, in the fat molecule, it contains fatty acid, right? Okay, because we want fatty acid in the process of uh, making soup. Okay, so here we have fatty acid. And uh, this fatty acid actually... Uh, combined with a glycerol. How do we separate this fatty acid from this glycerol? Any idea? We want the fatty acid, but this fatty acid already uh, attached to glycerol. So how do we remove it? Hydrolysis. Huh? Hydrolysis by either so add water or we add sodium hydroxide to break this covalent bond, eh? to break this covalent bond. And in soap making, we use sodium hydroxide. Okay, so we can separate the glycerol molecule from the fat molecule and at the same time produce three sodium sort of fatty acids. So to make soap, we heat uh, oil, cooking oil, with a sodium hydroxide. Why cooking oil? Because cooking oil contains a lot of fatty acid. Okay, and the sodium hydroxide will uh, undergo hydrolysis. Okay, we hydrolyze the molecules of fat, break the bonds between the fatty acids and the glycerol. Okay, and then a, a salt will form. And this hydrolysis of fat or oil by alkali, we have a, a particular name. We have a specific name for that, that hydrolysis process. Huh? Okay, and that process is called saponification. So saponification is the hydrolysis of fatty ester. A fat molecule actually is an ester. So saponification is the hydrolysis process eh? and it's the hydrolysis of fatty ester okay now let's see this example okay now we have a fat molecule okay fat molecule 
Okay, actually we have a hydrogen here. So we have a fat molecule. It contains a three fatty acid, but this three fatty acid attached to glycerol to break this we add three sodium hydroxide molecule. So this three sodium hydroxide molecule will break the bond here. Okay, it will break the bond here. After breaking the bond, okay, sorry, it, it will break the bonds here. There's one here, okay. It will break the bond here. And then so after breaking the bond, the sodium, the sodium will react with the fatty acid to form uh, the salt. The salt of fatty acid. This is soap, eh? these three are soap molecule. And the OH, the OH will go to the glycerol, okay? Okay, we'll go to the glycerol, attach to the glycerol, and then form this uh, glycerols again. Eh? Okay, so this is alcohol. So uh, this is uh, an illustration of uh, saponification process. Eh? Um, okay, just now I told you that uh, the, f the, the soup, after you, you heat cooking oil with uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, okay, for uh, 20 to 30 minutes, then the solutions that you get is uh, soup, right? And then I told you that uh, if you don't like the soup in liquid form, you want to have some solid soup, then you can add sodium chloride, okay? And uh, sodium chloride will reduce the solubilities of the soup. Eh? Uh, after it reduces the solubilities, then the soup will, will become, will, will form solid. So uh, as a result, you will obtain soap in solid form, eh? okay? And this one is also, is also very important eh? because sometimes they may ask you, what is the functions of uh, sodium chloride? Okay, what's the functions of sodium chloride? Okay, and the function is to reduce the solubilities of soap. Eh? So that's the, the liquids form solid soap, okay? So summary, so we have this CH2OOCR. Okay, R is the alkyl, eh? long carbon chain. Uh, for example, okay, R can be oleic acid, okay, if the molecule is like this. It can be a palmitic acid. So from the name, actually, you should know that this is, this is the uh, fatty acid of palm oil, okay? Or it can be a, a steric acid, okay? Steric acid contains uh, 17, uh, 17 carbons, uh? 16 carbon here and one carbon here, 17 carbons. And uh, when this... Uh, molecules of fat react with sodium hydroxide, then uh, it will form glycerol and uh, salt of uh, soup, okay? Salt of fatty acid, so this is salt. So this is the summaries of the chemical reaction.